So apparently, uh, one of the, one of the Revenant Kyrie, she's undead. I'm just trying. I'm just like trying to process. They made her a oh, zombie. That's crazy. That's so cool. That's awesome. Nice. Oh, that's oh, oh cool. I'm, okay. I'm hyped. But yeah, she's um, just a Revenant. Yeah. Revenant. Oh, did you? Uh, pick up a... Wait. It was that. I, I, I thought Revenant. Revenant means Raven. I don't know. I didn't really. Yeah. That's that's probably. I probably could have got that. That's wild. Anyways, yeah. Um, this is a really. This is going to be a really fun year, I think, because it is, you know, 20th anniversary of Heroescape. Um, we got lots to celebrate, right? We have the, the community to celebrate. We have the customs community to celebrate all the work that customs have done for the past 13 years that the game hasn't been able to be retail. And now we have a new retail set to, you know, if you, you if, and, and we have our, we have our opinions and everything about the designs, but it's like, I think if by getting this still networked into the local game stores, bringing life into the game where people can still access it and if they you know they buy this stuff and they like it then they can get onto the hero scapers forum and find you know the 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 other options that are available so this you know this is a huge opportunity to get more players into the game in general yeah um overall i'm you know i, I know renegade products from before i didn't know anything about all the drama and stuff that you guys know about so i'm not going to get into all that but uh you know I, i'm pretty excited for it i I hesitate with the pre-painted versus, you know, unpainted. Um, I did go with the pre-painted simply because from a distance when I'm playing, I want to be able to easily identify it. And I'm not a painter. So like having mm -hmm. everything be grayscale and unpainted for me is really tough to play the game. So I just, I'm going pre for sure painted. Yeah, so I think the one thing that we got to remember is Heroescape's back. And I think that's the biggest point here. That's pretty awesome. I mean... We might not be thrilled. I'm not thrilled about some of the things I saw, but I mean, overall, it's it's Heroescape. It's back. Um, I'm excited to play with all the figures that I saw so far. Um, uh, the organized play thing, I it looks pretty good. The battle network seems really cool. It seems like they've thought about it a lot. Um, I'm still curious to see. I was hoping to, to see them say something about uh integrating with the current community and like what we have going on as you guys know that you know i run tournaments with the mars group in in maryland and pennsylvania so i'll start by saying i'm ecstatic about the uh, unpainted miniatures um not only did i think that most people really don't want to pay for pre-painted miniatures in the larger industry in this day and age um i also just don't think that most pre-painted miniatures now look very good um especially as somebody who's played WizKids games since 2002 on and off. Um, so I'm really glad about that. Uh, I've seen a lot of people say, you know, okay, yeah, maybe the cards don't look good. Maybe these components don't look good. Who cares? You know, I'll play. And I just want to be clear that I understand that position, but I feel like we're saying it as fans. When we make these comments, we're not thinking about the fact that this community is not large enough to keep Heroescape alive, right? Like you need to expand beyond where we are. Yep. And frankly, most of the industry has just much higher quality components than what we're seeing. The art looks better. The graphic design looks better. Um, not everything is riddled with typos and grammatical errors. This just looks thrown together. And I keep hoping that, you know, that's just going to be the promotional material and the final product's going to look better. And then they keep doing that. They keep doubling down. They keep saying, yeah, this is final. Yeah, we made this change. Yeah, we made this change. Um, I mean, they've they've outright lied about things. I just I'm not super optimistic. We'll see once the product's in hand. Um, the emphasis on organized play is probably a good thing, but I think generally people organized play programs don't really succeed if there's not some kind of like organized play related loot there. And the insistence that promos have to be just something you can buy online means that I don't know how exciting that's going to be either. So yeah, it could have been worse. We could have seen completely new designs that look terrible, but clearly they pivoted. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, maybe if they did pivot, that's why there's just like a little bit of a, you know, twinge of like um rush um to to get everything together for today possibly. Um if if that's the case. I actually care more about the aesthetics than than the actual probably playing of the game just cuz that's the corner I've boxed myself into, but we have the uh you know, unpaid options, so I haven't been rendered entirely obsolete, so I'm 
I'm happy to hear that. And um, so definitely expecting some tutorials if you don't want to drop to 225 on you know that big box. Uh, I will yeah, be you got, here. You got to, some content, man. You're going to be able <laughs> uh, to guide people That's who awesome. want to dive in the wondrous world of painting. Um, yeah. I'm still processing everything. I missed half the stream because for some reason my YouTube wasn't giving me sound. So I'm, I'm catching up. I'm reading five different pages. But I think we're at least we ripped off the bandaid. You know, there's we're not in this echo chamber of self-reflection we can just say this is what we have let's address it let's deal with it you know any problems that are issues they at least give us some ways to bypass like the cards are a little disappointing in how they look and feel but that's just aesthetics it doesn't really affect how you play the game i'm not blown away but i'm content i think is my my statement and i think it's the feeling for most of us yeah. think the small things that people are critiquing are small and stupid and don't matter um and like at the end of the day it's back we're back in business who cares if the cards don't look great it's yeah, like would you rather have would you rather have it not be back at all um and i i've been a very public <coughs> reader, uh previously but like i'm happy with what i saw uh, to your point, Joe, I think is just, you know, should we pull all of our money out of our 401ks and just invest it in, and then just don't open it? And then, you know, in 20 years, we'll make thousands and thousands of dollars. I don't know if that's a good return on investment. Will I do it? No. Um, but um, Better than gold. I just don't want to spend all my money today to get all of it yeah like, right I make sure that yeah, i no, can I'm, I'm, buy I, some I, I, now I, I, and then be able to buy it like five I just years paid from rent, now y'all i just paid rent today yeah so right I, I screwed <laughs> up i screwed up all my money for hero escape gone i have to wait I'm super hyped about this i think it's i think it's really sick i like the aesthetics they put together like the colors were, were pretty amazing and um i don't know it's pretty interesting for me because like i i don't remember a time when hero escape was in production so this is like really new to me because I'm like younger so like this is this is really cool and um yeah me and my brother are pretty hyped about this and uh yeah I think I'll probably go uh pre-painted because I'm not like a uh I don't know I've painted some stuff but it doesn't it doesn't look the best so I don't know I'll probably go pre-painted there's a lot to take in here this is nuts uh I just really want the models um I, I do have to figure out what I want to do if I want to do pre-painted first and then get painted because obviously right like there shouldn't be a deadline and like in my head I'm thinking okay at some point these are going away forever like I, I, I'm just I'm fearful for that again and yeah, I'm like same. well now should I, I just go you know what I know I'm losing money on this anyway because you know 250 for the for for a Vanguard box now we're paying even more money like you know I don't know. I have, I have to kind of talk talk to other some other people, get some opinions. Um, should I get the painted first? Because once I get it in August, then I have to. Hopefully, by that time, I'll be an experienced painter because that's what I want to do. I want to get into painting. Um, but like right out of the box, should I be able to get it so I can make the videos and make the content so it's real quick, um, and then get the unpainted ones and then enjoy the experience of painting them and then you know going bring bringing those to tournaments. So. I'm going back and forth with that one. So there's a lot I love. There's some things that I think will just get ironed out, like Cody said, like the cards, because um, the community is going to make them tomorrow. We'll have them tomorrow, by the way. We'll have all those yeah. revamped tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we already know that. Remade, remade redesigned. All oh, yeah. I mean, everything's just going to be fixed, like Prano. So uh, community, just top notch. Love you guys.